All right, 97.7 Outlaw Radio FM listeners, we are live in full effect right here, right now with the one, the only founder and CEO of Shady Nation. We got Shady Nate live on the line. How are you doing this evening? Let's win it. I got to say, man, first and foremost, it's an absolute honor to have you on my radio station, man. I hope you are doing good out there on the West Coast, man, and uh, I hope that 2021 is treating you good so far. Oh, yeah, man. It's been lovely. But I got to ask you, Shady, like, taking you uh, way back, man, like, what actually made you decide to get into the music industry initially? Uh, shit. Uh, my mom, my mom, my mom made me get in the music industry, right? You feel me? And just, uh, she just fed me music. She just fed me, like, two short and two tops and two beanies and all the old schools. She was feeding me, you know what I'm saying? That's what made me get into this music. Hey, man, you know what? And those are some phenomenal artists, man. So she most definitely fed you the right artists. For sure, man. That's what's up. Thanks. And also, as well, as well, man, you were also the co-founder and original member of Live Wire, uh, Live Wire Records. I was wondering if you tell us a bit more about Live Wire Records, and of course, man, like, is it still op- operational today? Oh uh, yeah, Live Wire started off in West Oakland. Started off in West Oakland, man, with uh, Jay Stallion and my partner Lil Damon, and my other folks, uh, Jay Jonas. I'm saying it just started off us uh, going to the studio and trying to get off the block, trying to do something, you know what I'm saying, to, to get the police off of, out of our business. And we ended up being good at it. You know what I'm saying? So that's how, that's how a lot of started. It started organic on the, on the mob. And I have to ask you as well, pertaining to Livewire, like who's currently signed to Livewire today? Uh, Livewire is not really dope. No, Livewire is a record label, but it's really not. You know what I'm saying? It ain't about who's fine and who's not. It's about, you know what I'm saying? It's about who's hot. It's about who who doing something on their block. Livewire, to be on Livewire, you got to be from a block. You got to be, you got to be a certified, a certified, you know what I'm saying? Be boss from a block that, that you can go to your block and you can, and people, you know what I'm saying, listen to your music on your block and they respect you on your block. That's what LiveWire is all about. So it ain't, you know what I'm saying? Anybody can say they, anybody we rock with, you know what I'm saying? Go say that LiveWire. It ain't just about rapping. But it's, we got a bunch of little youngsters on there right now, too, though. And also, man, as I, as I mentioned during the introduction to this interview, that you were also the founder and CEO of the iconic Shady Nation, man, which you guys have a, a huge, huge fan base. I have to ask you, what's, how, what made you to start, decide to start Shady Nation? And when you first started that company, did, could you, did you actually see it being as big as it actually is today? Uh, no, I did. But uh, I started Shady Nation. I started Shady Nation... Uh for my family because we already had live wire. We already had live wire, so I started Shady Nation for the family, for my folks, for my family that, that that's doing music. You know? Yeah, you know and it, it just, you know, it, it went up. It kept going up. And I remember, man, back in the day, because I've been a fan of you since the get-go, man, and I remember your first record that came out was actually uh, Gas Man Unleashed, man. I have to say, that album was absolutely phenomenal, bro. In my opinion, that's what started it all, man. I'm top, I'm top. Gas, uh, Gas Man and Gas Nation. That's what started it, man. I remember getting that record when I was in high school, man, and like, I'm not going to lie to you, man. That, that that record was absolute fire, bro. That actually got me through a lot of shit back in the day, bro. I'd pump, put that, put that album in, man, and make me feel hard as fuck. Yeah, on the real though. That's all I make is gangsta music. I, but I make, I make, you know, music for the struggle. And also, in 2014, you actually made a guest appearance on the song uh, "Rolling in These Streets" with Be Legit, Little Rida, and Davana. I have to ask you. Uh, what actually? How did you get connected with like Be Legit and whatnot, man? And what was it like working with a with a Bay Area legend like him? Uh, I, I got on I got on I got on a couple songs with Bela. Anytime I got on a song with Bela, it was somebody um, that was casting me out for a feature with him. You feel me? So when I got on a um, song with him with, uh, on that Rolling in the Streets, it was with Davina and a couple of other people. 
people. But I had got cast out and I got on another phone with him with um new uh, cousin Kevin Peak from um Quick Woody. And I believe that uh, that song as well was actually on California Gangsters and Thugs, I think volume four, if I could be wrong, but I remember, man, that joint was hard. Yeah, believe that. That was my stand up right time. And also, man, and another individual, another amazing individual that you actually did work with was Yuck Mouth. And I have to ask you, man, what was it like working with Yuck Mouth, man? Because as we already know, Yuck Mouth is from the Loonies, and, you know, he, he he's a wild one to be around. Man, Yuck, actually, Yuck got at, um, we, we was following Yuck doing a couple of shows with him, you know what I'm saying? And then he got at me like, you know what I'm saying? He wanted me to get on a, a couple of tracks. And every time I hit him, he got on whatever I wanted him to get on. So that's how our relationship really started. But I always been a fan of Yuck first, off top. And then, you know, when it was my turn, it was my turn. And I got to say as well there, Shady, you know, like, uh, Yuck Mouth is such a phenomenal individual, man. You know what I mean? He's very, very down to earth. I, I, I interviewed him about a year and a half ago, man, and you know, just, just an amazing individual. Uh, top, yeah, man. I ain't never heard Yuck come with a weak verse. I ain't never heard. Every time I hear Yuck, he comes saucy. Uh, that, 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 that album, that double album he dropped was a classic, man. So he a legend in Oakland, man. So he, it was, all, it was a privilege that time he even acknowledged me, man. You feel me? And also, uh, Shady Nate, you were actually a member of the group The Go Boys. I was going to ask you, what's the story behind the formation of The Go Boys? And of course, how did you all meet? Oh, The Go Boys was just me, Stalin, and a mechanic. And, um, and Cass Kaiser, feel me? You know we was um, working on Stalin's album, his first album. When we first started Live Live, we was working on, on, on behalf of the streets. So, you know what I'm saying? We started traveling, and we, was, we ended up in L.A., and we just started working on, we just did like five songs in, in one day. So we called it the Go Boys. You know what I mean? And I have to ask as well, because like, like you said, you guys disbanded. Do you guys think, do you think you might get together for like maybe one more tour after the COVID or maybe one more record? Man, uh, who? The Go Boys? The Go Boys, yeah. I don't know, man. I used to be Cass Kaiser in years, but I know. Uh, since we did the Cowboys and Mechanics, the Mechanics always been a foundation of, of Live Wire, though. At the same time, Mechanics is the foundation of Live Wire because they was, a, you know what I'm saying, they was our producers. You know I mean? They wasn't even doing as much as they're doing right now. But uh, I ain't seen Cal Kaiser in a minute, and Mechanics is uh, they out of the stratosphere right now. And you feel me? You know what I'm saying? But I'm with, I'm with whatever. Whoever I know, you feel me? If I rock with you back in the day, I still rock with you right now. You know what I'm saying? So I don't want whatever, but I don't know. Everybody else is about to be different. Man. I don't know. And also, as well, you actually did work with another uh, Oakland, uh, Oakland, California legend by the name of Money B of Digital Underground. I was actually wondering, man, how did yourself and him get to get, uh, sorry, get connected? And of course, what was it like working on Slumped Over in the Club with him? Man, that was crazy. How you know about that? Hey, um, um, we was doing, um, um, at the same time when we was doing the thing with the mechanics, when we, when we was first starting, um, Stalin and mechanics introduced me to Bunny B and Shy G. So you feel me, you know what I'm saying? We was doing, we did a couple of shows, and, and Muddy B, actually Muddy B, Muddy B, um, he always said he was a fan, him and his wife, he said him and his wife has always been a fan of mine, even when I first started. So that's how, you know what I'm saying, I got on that song. He always, like, he always pulled me to the side, you feel me, and gave me some back. You know? But that's why I got on that, man. And I was, I was, I was, uh, privileged to do that. And I have to ask you as well, man, like, when you actually met Shock G, like, what, what was he like as a person, man? Because I got to say, did, DU is probably one of my favorite hip-hop groups of all time, so when you brought that up, I knew I had to slide that question in. Man, Shock G, like, he, like, he was, like, he, like, he a legend, man, so, like, he was just, it was just like, you know, it was just, it was crazy. It was, it was crazy for him to even be, to acknowledge me and know who I was, like, feel me and treat me like he a regular dude, like, you know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? You're down to earth dude. And people that don't know about Shock G either, man, he is such a, um, such a smart person as well, man. He's very intelligent. Right. Right, 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 yeah. He, um, 
most of the people that most of the people that make good music, most of the dopest artists I know, they like you know, they be like on their own little hype. You know what I'm saying they don't, you know, they be in their own zone. That's how Shock G is, man. And also, and another uh, uh, group that you were actually a part of is actually a duo by the name of the Heavy Hitters, man. I have to ask you, what's the story behind the Heavy Hitters? And of course, how did yourself and Jay Jonah actually meet? Hey, Jonah's like my little brother. I've been knowing him since we was like in the third grade. You know, so um, when I started when I started uh, doing his music stuff, you know what I'm saying, I was already, he was already my little brother, you know what I'm saying? He went to uh, Louisiana for a couple of years when he came back. You know, I had a little buzz, so, and he was dope, too. We put it together, you know what I'm saying, and, and that's how I was, you know what I'm saying? That's how we, um, me and Jay Jonah, we hooked up with Jay Stalin, and that's how we started Livewire, so. And also, man, this year in, uh, sorry, last year in 2020, uh, you actually dropped an album with uh, Bruce Banner and uh, Ricky, called Duff, uh, sorry, Deaf, Dumb, and Blind. I was wondering if you could tell our listeners a bit more about that project, and of course, where can our listeners snag themselves a copy right now? Yeah, you can go, you can snatch a copy from that anywhere, man, you know what I'm saying, iTunes or whatever, you know what I'm saying, any major uh, digital uh, distribution, you can snatch that, but I start, I, um, Ben and uh, Maserati Rick, they hit me. They hit me and wanted me to do a project with them, you know what I'm saying? They, they, they told me to come out the sack and do a project with them, and that's what it was. Ben always been my dude, you feel me, man? Ben always been, you know what I'm saying, rocking on the one back in, you know what I'm saying, when um, Livewire first started going to stack, taking over stack, you feel me? You know what I'm saying? But uh, when they hit me, you know what I'm saying, I came through and did my thing, you know? And, um, uh, that Deaf Dumb is Blind, that Deaf Dumb is Blind, that comes from Old Mercer, me and AC project. Me and AC, um, from Bareface, got a project called Old Mercer. So, you know what I'm saying, I, I took that concept, you know what I'm saying, and moved it over, you know what I'm saying, to the players, you feel me, called Deaf Dumb and, Deaf, Deaf Dumb and Blind. And I also have to ask you there, Shady, like, do you guys have any hard copies available for the listeners that still do love that hard copy format? Yeah, you gotta go through Rap Bay or you can go to my uh, website on Shady Nation, Music One dot com. You can get hard copies. I got Gas Man, I got My Morally, I got Go Festival, Boat Festival, Post Festival, yeah, man, Snow Festival, all that festivals, man. And also Shady, this Gas, is the time you know, Gas Man's on man. there too, and Thunder the Hood. Oh, sorry, sorry. What was that, Shady? My apologies. Gas Man on there and Thunder the Hood too. Oh, man, you got your whole catalog on there by the sounds of it. Yeah, man, I keep up with the keep up, man. Stay updated. And also, so Shady, this is the time in the interview that I give a chance for the individual uh, to just, just to shed some light on some of the projects that I might have missed during this interview. Like, is there, if there's anything I missed anything or anything else you want to let our live listeners know while we snub you here live on the line? Yeah, I want you, I want everybody to tap in. Anybody that's on live wire got something to do with live wire tap into their music tap our videos you feel me you know what I'm saying I got uh, that project Old Mercy with HD I got you know what I'm saying just tap in just tap in you feel me I'm dropping videos every other week every other month man you know what I'm saying they tap in with me and, and so, Shady, this is the time in the interview that I give a chance for the individual that comes on the radio station airwaves. Just a chance to give shout-outs to whomever they want to give shout-outs to. And, of course, your social media handles. That way our listeners can stay updated and, and uh, stay in tapped with everything Shady Nate if, if they're not already doing so. On top, yeah, man. Uh, tap into um, Real Shady Nate on my Instagram. You know, Shady 28 Nate on Twitter and everything else. You feel me? And I'm looking for beats right now. I'm looking for new producers. I'm looking for new talent to um, sign up to Shady Nation. So uh, anybody want to get at me, just tap me in the Shady Nation music at gmail.com. I want to shout out Livewire. I want to shout out Acorn. I want to shout out Hustle Landy. You know what I'm saying? Undated Kane City, Stain City. You know what I'm saying? Sacramento, Oakland. You know what I'm saying? L.A. Everywhere I didn't touch them, man. You feel me? I saw out whoever rocks with a nigga and fuck with a nigga, man. You know what I'm saying? Keep rocking. Hey, man, you already know. I got to say, Shady Nate, thank you so much for years of amazing music. 
And I know I can say for everybody else around the world, we are most definitely looking forward to many more years of it as well. But thank you so much for giving us a little bit of your time. And most definitely, man, have yourself a wonderful night out there in Oakland. For sure. Shout out Canada, man. You know what I'm saying? Be looking out for my next project, baby. Hey, man, most definitely, Shady. If you make it, we're going to spin it. You already know, man. Thank you so much and have yourself a wonderful night. My love.